Hello demigods, monsters, and gods alike. This is the Olympus Report. It's time to recap what happened at camp this week. It's Camp Half-Blood Updates, in partnership with at CHB Updates on Twitter. So please, go show some support to their page. We had a lot of fun Halloween activities this week. Up first, we had a camp costume contest at the pavilion before dinner. Entries were accepted at the big house, and the winner was... The winner is Lexi underscore Black, who went as one of our very own gods, Hyacinth. And the costume also happened to scare her dad, which was a bonus. In some other news, we also had a very successful trick-or-treating. Trick-or-treating took place after dinner. Demigods went cabin to cabin to pick up candy supplied by the big house. We'd like to give a big thanks to all the cabin heads for helping this event run smoothly. Mischief night, however, did not go as smoothly. We posted this notice beforehand. Attention Half-Bloods, if you are celebrating mischief night, please use toilet paper and shaving cream only. If any eggs are thrown at the big house, those responsible will be penalized. Unfortunately, there were some eggs thrown at the big house, so if you have any information, please let us know. Until the culprits are caught, s'mores will be suspended. We at Camp Half-Blood love Halloween as much as the next, but unfortunately, it is over now. Attention! Whoever is outside the big house making ghost noises, please return to your cabins immediately, or you will be penalized with stable cleaning duty for a week. It might be best to just quit while you're ahead. And finally, to wrap up our Halloween festivities, we have a winner of the Cabin Decoration Contest. The Demeter Cabin has won our contest for their very creative killer plant slash little shop of horrors theme. Good job, half blood Please stop by the big house to pick up your prize. Well, that's everything you may have missed at camp this week. So until next week, please, as always, stay safe.